So today is Saturday and we woke up early and we were supposed to take Wally to his meet and greet. We have been trying to find a new pet sitter um, just for New Year's. His normal regular pet sitter is actually out of town during the same time we're going to be um, traveling so we didn't have anybody to leave him with. However, we found somebody and she wanted to do a meet and greet. Um, so we ended up going to her house um, so she could meet Wally and Wally could meet her. Um, it seemed like everything worked out fine. He was running around the house and he was just wagging his tail and he really liked her and it seemed like he, she really liked him. Um, so things worked out and now we have a pet sitter for New Year's which I'm really excited because that was like a big thing I was stressing out about because we have the place already booked for New Year's and then we couldn't find anybody to leave Wally. I don't know what would have happened. So. We have a pet sitter, so I'm really excited. She seems like a really nice person, so I'm excited. Wally will be spending New Year's there, and there's going to be also another dog that she's going to be taking care of. I guess she only takes two dogs at a time, um, so Wally's going to have a friend for New Year's. So they're, they, he gets to go on his little doggy vacation with a new friend, so that should be fun. So after the meet and greet, we took Wally to the dog park. It's been raining here. And obviously, as you know, it was snowing a couple of days ago, so we haven't been able to take Wally to the park as much as we like. Um, he hates going out in the rain, so when we do take him out so he could do his business, like, it's really just around the house. Um, so after the meet and greet, um, it wasn't raining and there was a park nearby, so we ended up taking him there and he was just running around and really enjoying himself. Um, but of course it started raining and it got cold so I ended up and he was all wet from walking like on the wet grass so I had to wrap him in a blanket and then just came home and for the rest of the afternoon we kind of just hung out here and relaxed and I was trying to set up my desk I'm still not done I have a lot of things to figure out as far as like this side of my desk um, but yeah um, and then just a couple of hours ago we decided to go out for Mexican food. I have been found a place that I could say this is my favorite Mexican restaurant in Portland or this is my favorite Mexican restaurant in Oregon. I haven't found that place yet. Uh, we tried a couple of different Mexican places and there are some good ones but I haven't found the ultimate like amazing one yet. I found this place called Amelia's rustic Mexican dining um, and based on the reviews it was a good place to go the food was good um, I wanted sopas but they didn't have any so I ended up getting a uh, tostada oaxaqueña which is like a huge tostada You could add meat to it, but I ended up just getting the vegetarian one. Um, it comes with like homemade beans and queso fresco and Mexican crema and a lot of veggies. Adam ended up getting a mole burrito, which I'm not kidding you, it was like this size. He only ate half of it. There was so much food. His burrito was really delicious. Like I found that the mole was like really authentic. It tasted like it's supposed to. Um, it was really good. Overall, I had a good experience with the food. I wouldn't say it's my favorite place, but it's pretty good and I would definitely go back again. I also had for dessert flan. Uh, whenever a restaurant has flan on the menu, I have to have it. Um, some places make flan like from jello packets and you could tell because it has. it's more like of a pudding slash jello substance but it's just like milky and if you get it like if you buy the powder basically you just mix it with milk and then you heat it up and then cool it um but this place you could tell they made it from scratch it was like it was actually like a custard because when you make it from scratch you use egg so it's a custard dessert and it was really delicious, um, super rich in flavor. Normally whenever we go and I get flan anywhere else, I usually order one to have at the restaurant and then like one or two to take home. Um, this time I didn't just because 
once I was eating it, it was so rich, so flavorful. I was like, wow, this is just one is enough. And I even had to ask Adam to help me finish it. Normally, I devour it. And I'm like really selfish when it comes to flan. And I just want to eat it all to myself. Um, but this time, I really had to ask for help. Um, my overall experience with this restaurant, it was, it was good. I mean... Um, the place looked clean, which that's important to me. Um, there's a lot of space. The whole time we were there, people were coming in. So you could tell, like, even though it's in a weird location, like, it's popular. And I think the most important thing is, like, the food was not greasy, which is, like, a big deal to me because I hate, like, greasy food. Um, but the most you know especially when it's like Mexican food it tends to be greasy but this place was like just really nice like I felt like you know I went to somebody's house and they made me Mexican food and it was just homemade really delicious great flavor so it was nice the menu also said they have a happy hour Monday through Friday and like the deals were like the prices for the the meals were really good um, and the beer selection is all Mexican beer in bottles and I think for happy hour they were like two dollars if I don't if I remember correctly um, we didn't go to happy hour obviously because today is Saturday but um, yeah the food was great so if you're ever in Hillsboro um, you should check the place out because it's actually pretty good so tomorrow we are going to be going downtown for the icebreaker sale and I'm really excited about it because last year I got tons of cool stuff um, for those who don't know what icebreaker is it's a clothing company that makes their clothes out of merino wool um, and the clothes are really really comfortable and are they are I mean like they're nice and comfortable and they're really good they have really good quality um, we mainly use them when we go hiking but you know I tend to wear a few of the pieces just on a regular basis especially the under layers and just to give you an example of like how good the deals are on the sale last year I got a jacket that was between 300 and 400 dollars and I ended up paying less than half of that um, and we got a lot of different things this year. I'm looking for some Hoping to find leggings and possibly a couple of sweaters It's just been getting really chilly and I don't really have a lot of like warm sweaters and especially like Pants and things like that. So I'm hoping I'm able to find something like that for a great price and with like a cool pattern or something a lot of their shirts have really cool patterns um i have a couple of like great undershirts and i really like the pattern so that's what i'm like hoping for some leggings a couple of um sweaters or long sleeve shirts and possibly a beanie because adam has a really cool beanie from icebreaker that is really warm so yeah um aside from that i think we're just going to be hanging out downtown and eventually just coming home i'm going to be obviously shooting the video for tomorrow and then just relaxing because i have a really busy week next week see you guys tomorrow